this video we're going to talk about improper integrals and we're going to talk about improper integrals of type 1. So what is an improper integral of type 1? Well, we have some function f which is defined for x bigger than some value a and then we want to talk about the integral from a to infinity of f of x dx. Okay. So now what does this mean? How do we define this? Because note that this can't be an improper, uh, this can't be a definite integral, right? Because we're not integrating from sub number a to sub number b, right? We're sort of integrating over the whole positive x-axis from a onward, right? So how are we going to define this improper integral, right? Well, there are two conditions. Firstly, if we take any number t bigger than a, in the integral from a to t exists. And so no matter where we pick up t bigger than a, and the integral from a to t exists. And now we can think of this integral as this area. Right, the area under the graph y equals f of x from x equals a to x equals t. Right. And this should be for all t big or equal to a. Right. And now what we do is we take a limit. Right. We let t go to infinity. Right, so that's the second condition. The limit as t goes to positive infinity of this integral a to t f of x dx exists as a finite number. And so that means if you calculate this limit you get a number like 2 or 5 or minus 10 or 5 over 2. Okay. You don't get plus or minus infinity. Okay. So under these two conditions, right, then we say that this integral is convergent. Right. and its value is equal to that limit. Right. So, you can think of this graphically, right? if you let t go to plus infinity here in your little picture, right? then what this limit gives you is sort of the area under the curve from a onwards. Right? And what is the, the fact that this integral is convergent tells you right, is that this area is finite. Right. So, similarly, right, we can talk about an integral from minus infinity to a. Right. So, for instance, you can draw a picture here. infinity to a right. Right. so now again we get to take an integral from t to a right. so we're going to basically calculate that area. Okay. We take the integral from t to a f of x dx okay. and now we take the limit as t goes to minus infinity. Right. So firstly this integral from t to a should exist for all t less than a and, and then this limit should be a finite number. 
right, and then we can talk about this integral as being convergent. Right. So this should be a finite number. Right. And now the last case is when we have integral from minus infinity to plus infinity. And then let's, for convenience, call this i. Okay. Now we have to be very careful here. Right? We can't just go and write integral, say, from minus t to t, and then t go to infinity. Right? We have to break that integral up into two pieces. Okay. So we have to say, well, let's look at piece 1, right, so it's going to be, say, the integral from a to positive infinity, and we have to look at the second piece, integral from minus infinity to a, f of x, dx. Okay. So here now we have an integral as in our first case, and here we have an integral as in our second case. Okay. And both of these have to be convergent. Okay. If both of these are convergent, then your integral i is convergent. And then i is equal to i1 plus i2. is convergent, right? So, let's recap, right? When we have an improper integral from a to infinity of f of x dx, right? And we have to express this as the limit as t goes to infinity of the integral from a to t. And if this limit exists as a finite number, then our integral is convergent. Right? And if we have an integral Right, an improper integral from minus infinity to a, right, then we have to express this integral as a limit as t goes to minus infinity of the integral from t to a. Right, and again, this integral, this limit must exist as a finite number, and then in which case we say that the integral is convergent. Right? And lastly, if we have an integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, Right? We have to split this up into two pieces. Right? One, an integral from a to infinity, and another one, an integral from minus infinity to a. Right? And if both of those integrals are convergent, then your original integral from minus infinity to plus infinity is also convergent. Right? If just one of those integrals is divergent, in other words, not convergent, then the whole integral i is divergent. Right? But note here that it doesn't matter which a you pick. Right. You pick A, which is made, going to make your calculations uh, easier. Right. So you, you could pick A equals 1, A equals 2, your answer will be the same at the end of the day. Right. Your calculations may just be a little different. Right. So we look at some examples of how to calculate these improper integrals of type 1. Right. 